Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Lavacraft from the Mooncraft server. And we're starting off today dropping off another golden carrot lunchbox. And I'm super excited to check it out. This is DV Cool Fuels base and it's looking sweet. I haven't been over here since day one. So I think he is somewhere around here. I am not really sure. This place looks so cool. I'm pretty sure this is his castle. Wow, look at this, right on zero, zero, too. Oh man, this is sweet. Wow, very imperial, I love it. Yep, so I'm not really sure where he is, but uh, he, he's got a ton of awesome stuff. Oh, there he is. How do I get in here? That's cool. Whoa, this is sweet. Another underground secret base. This is amazing, DV Cool Fuel. What are you doing? Oh, and he's looking swagtastic. All right, well, let's drop off his box for him. You can just see the expression in his eyes. Oh my goodness, he, he's so happy. <laughs> this is what it's all about, guys. Well, I think that is one happy customer and job done. Uh, I guess it is on to try and find the next one, but I kind of want to check out his base a little bit more. This place is freaking sweet. Look at all these heads, all these slain withers. He's taking down Claire. Whoa. Oh, snap. This place is looking ridiculous. It's amazing. And another one. Oh, my goodness. There's another place. Okay, we got some redstone. So I guess this is the underside of his bee farm looking sweet. I can hear them buzzing up ahead, up above us. Super cool. Wow, it's fully automatic. That is sick. Okay, sweet. And it's got a little storage system going on. Nice. Oh my goodness, it's like a department store. This is some major storage action. Wow, we got a ways to catch up to anything like this. That is super cool. All right, well, I think I lost him. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I'm glad we're getting a base tour. This thing's awesome. I'm not sure what this does, but oh, it's an iron farm. Pretty sweet. He's definitely got some iron supplies. We were just talking earlier about uh, a bulk iron deal for when I want to get my storage system underway. And uh, he definitely looks like the man with the plan. So this is pretty sweet. Oh, we can hear the iron golems meeting their demise up top. And he's got the men in black thing going on. Awesome. So many secrets. This is nuts. Oh, man. My base is going to have to be pretty sweet to match up to this. This is... This is sweet. Well, I mean, it's not a competition, but oh my goodness, if it was, he'd be winning. This, <laughs> oh, another massive room. Oh my goodness, what the heck is this? This is probably the most intense creeper farm I've seen in person. That is cool. All right, looks like we are uh, about to find out some more secrets. Uh, this base has got everything. Oh my goodness, ice paths, bubble elevators, giant massive creeper quarries, giant massive everything quarries oh my goodness this must be the underside of the creeper farm oh my goodness it's a slime farm so he's got a slime farm an iron farm and a gunpowder farm oh here we go look at this this is classic i just love it <laughs> that is super cool well that's why he has all the slime well, we got to see a super cool base and uh, we got to drop off an awesome promotional item for our golden carrot crop shop. So if I can ever find my way out of this thing, I guess we can start the episode, uh, even though it, the, we really couldn't have asked for a better start to the episode. This is so cool. And I think like everything in here is slabbed. Wow, it is, it's all, it's all mob proofed. Oh my goodness. That's super cool, and I love this. I love this chimney design. Well, we're gonna say goodbye to DV Cool Fuel, and thank you so much for showing us around. This place, this place is honestly uh, amazing. I mean, just look at the detail and effort and time. It, it really is mind blowing some of the stuff uh, that he has come up with over in this area. And uh, I didn't get a tour of the other bases that were also really, really cool that we checked out in the last video. But uh, you know what? I, I found a few secrets, so maybe maybe there's even more. Uh, someday we'll have to get a tour of some bases from some of our fellow Moonies because uh, this was quite a treat. And uh, I hope they come over and check mine out sometime. That would be super cool to give them a tour. Uh, but either way, uh, I'm glad that he appreciated the uh, super 
super exclusive golden carrot lunchbox. And we have a few more to drop off. I don't know if we're going to do any more in this episode. Uh, it really just depends on who's online. But uh, this was a really fun little segment. So let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below. But for now, it is time to get back to business. And the business we're getting back to today is setting up even more of our limited edition golden carrot lunch boxes because we have a few new server mates and we're going to have to drop those off to them eventually. Uh, it's definitely going to be a nice little treat uh, when you're first starting. Uh, securing a food source can be kind of hard and, uh, you know, the golden carrot lunch box is always filled to the brim with not only golden carrots, but uh, lots of fun snacks, uh, at least the promotional boxes are. Anyways, uh, that is the plan for uh, a little while. And after we complete that, we can move on to the next task for today's episode episode. So we are back at the task board because we have to choose another task. And in addition to that, we have to take a few down. So uh, we have completed a melanin pumpkin farm. We have amassed emeralds like crazy. I'll show that to you guys in just a second. And uh, we have also finished up a bee farm. So uh, that leaves a few projects and uh, they're all very big projects. Uh, I guess potions. Yeah, that's 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 a big project as well. So which one should we do today? Well, I think that we are actually going to go for a wool farm. And if you didn't know, uh, we actually have a few friendly farm animals over here. So we've collected uh, pretty much all of them. Uh, well, you know, the, the basics. We got the chickens, sheep, cows and pigs. And uh, we just need a couple of these sheep over here. And we're going to have to go and get all of the different colors of dye. And uh, I'm pretty sure they sell it in the shop district uh, but let's go ahead and see how many we can craft up on our own before we go spend all of our diamonds because uh, we don't have that many and uh, one of our tasks is to collect five stacks and we're not even close yet so uh, we got some work to do in that department but like I said I wanted to show you guys the emeralds that we have amassed and behind me you can see the result of a creeper explosion that's right we had a super cool uh, semi-automatic uh, a super advanced redstone door that uh, I let you guys uh, see uh, a few episodes ago. So uh, as you can see, uh, it doesn't work at the moment, you know, slight malfunction. So we're just using dirt to block it off just like that. Not like that, like that. All right. Uh, so over here we have a little emerald barrel and uh, we have a bunch of emeralds. And I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but that's because it's not the only amount of uh, emeralds we have. Uh, let's just put our dirt door back right there and head over to the other area where we are storing our emeralds. And that is again another trading hall the trading hall we were just in crafting up some more of our super legendary promotional golden carrot lunch boxes uh right over here is the emerald supply and as you can see we got the emeralds lots of them in fact we have enough to probably make a couple beacons and i want to show something super cool to you guys uh in that department but first we gotta sleep so you guys remember at the beginning of the episode when we checked out DV Cool Fuels base and uh, we gave him a present? Well, it turns out he had actually gifted us something right there and uh, that was convenient that I just disappeared for a second, I guess, uh, because it is a super amazing gift and it is a nether star. While we were chatting about the bulk iron deal, uh, he was killing some uh, withers and I wished him good luck in getting his nether stars uh, for the day because I was just hearing the wither uh, dying. So <laughs> I thought it was pretty fun and uh, he actually gifted us our very first nether star so we're gonna put that in our inventory and he left us a little note for stellar effort on the server i appreciate it so i will continue to work my very hardest and not leave dirt rails laying around everywhere uh, and make this uh server a little bit more beautiful in my own way look at this guys i'm i'm invisible weird there's some strange stuff going on on the mooncraft server today there we go there we go i'm gone I'm back. Uh, that's enough messing around. It is time to get to work. So thanks to DV Cool Fuel's very, very generous gift, we can now make our very first beacon on the server. And I would actually like to go to the shopping district and buy, I think, two more. Uh, we should have enough emeralds for that, I believe. Uh, anyways, uh, we also need to purchase some dye. I'm not sure how many we can actually craft up. We have quite a few different 
flowers and stuff. So I'll see uh, if we can get them all. If not, we will fill in the gaps at the dye shop because I'm pretty sure it got an upgrade. It definitely has all the colors and we need all the colors. So luckily for us, we were actually able to find some random bits and bobs laying around and craft up every color of dye. So uh, we could save up some diamonds. Uh, yeah, because we're going to need them when we go buy those beacons. But first, we have to craft our very own. And uh, let me show you guys the plot for our wolf farm. So over in this uh, barren wasteland over here that we've created uh, where we were kind of initially farming some uh, different kinds of items like pumpkins and uh, yeah some other sweet berries and stuff like that and I don't know what's going on over there. Uh, we are going to uh, redesign this whole area get rid of this ugly farmland uh, madness and uh, yeah we're gonna put it over here. Cool so let's go craft that beacon together our very first beacon and then we will head over to the shopping district. All right here we go y'all boom did we get an achievement? No, we didn't get an achievement. Well, that's definitely the very first beacon we've ever crafted, and it is time to go purchase a few more, so let's head over to the shopping district. While we're here, we might as well check out the profits of our store, see if we've made any diamonds that we can spend. Uh, nope, and uh, there's probably not, so I'll go ahead and check these all real quick, and I'll let you know. Well, not yet, but uh, you know what? That's okay. We'll uh, make some more profits eventually, and I have an idea for another store, uh, but uh, that's that's still going to be a while away. Uh, speaking of stores, we are in a super cool one. Look at this. I, oh, I didn't even notice like the quartz and snow combo. Oh, that's super smart. I like that a lot. Anyways, let's get out our wallet and see what we're working with. Don't worry, it's not just six diamonds. That's just our profit from the last episode. Let's purchase our very first beacons, guys. Uh, well, our very first purchase beacons. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Let's head back to the base and get to work. just bringing you guys back in for a little bit of an update. We have finished most of the terraforming in this area, pretty much all of it. I don't think we're gonna go too much bigger. This side is looking a little unfinished. I think the idea is the building that actually houses the sheep is gonna run this way and then it's going to kind of uh, set over this little gulf here, I guess you could call it. I don't know, I think it should look pretty cool and uh, we'll have some paths and some fun stuff up here as well. I guess it is time to bring the sheep over, um, but before I do that, I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of a fence on this area here. So this area is looking pretty good so far. Let me know what you think. And I have made some pretty major changes since the time lapse. Well, uh, I have started to kind of rough out the uh, area where the actual sheep farm is going to go. And uh, I think it will fit in a three block 
gap, and then each module can share this row of grass. So basically, the efficiency of a sheep farm is dependent on how fast the, sh the grass grows, really. Uh, every time the grass grows back after the sheep eats the grass, this observer is going to detect the change in block state and uh, fire off this dispenser, which is going to have some shears in it. And then we have a second module right there, uh, which is why we need two of each die, because we're going to have two sheep of each color, and this thing is going to hopefully be pretty efficient. It's not going to be super crazy like the one we did in our last series where we had 12 of each sheep and it, it took three days to build. Now I think this should only take maybe like an hour to build up uh, but I should probably knock on this wood because uh, it, it it always takes longer than you think it does. Anyways, uh, I think that's pretty much how it's going to work. Uh, these hoppers run into these chests right here, and uh, it's all using hopper mine carts so they can pick up the wool that drops from over here. Awesome. So uh, that's pretty much that over there. I have also moved the sheep in to their new home over here. That's right. That little area you saw is going to be a little house for our sheep. The ones that get to stay in the uh, open air at least. About 32 sheep should be good and then we'll leave uh, four to six sheep. I guess I'm going to go ahead and try and put these sheep in and then maybe we'll get a little bit of a uh, design going because right now it's just the... Uh, kind of bare bones. I did add these uh, doorway structures and uh, I don't know how I feel about them yet. Uh, also, I don't know if you caught it in the time lapse, but there is a little secret ladder down to this area over here. Uh, that's, that's pretty much all you missed. And I got some work to do, so I will bring you guys back for an update in just a minute. Well, it went a little overboard and we finished the entire build and I'm super happy with it. Let's check it out. So there are three main entrances into this little build here. And uh, like I said, it is completely finished. We have the uh, super awesome automatic uh, shutting door thingies. Uh, we have an open air little uh, area for our redstone here. Uh, we don't have to worry too much about the, the sheep because they're fully encased and uh, yeah, they, sh they shouldn't get zapped by any lightning over here. I uh, can't wait for those lightning rods. So this is where we will come to refill the shears if we ever need to. And yes, I have a ton of totems of undying from the raid farm. Uh, super cool. Thanks, uh, Belakar, for that. And uh, let's uh, let's check it out. So uh, all of the carpets correspond with the uh, color of the sheep, obviously. And we have had this thing running for quite a while now. Uh, so let's check and see how it's doing. That's nuts. That's probably more wool than we'll ever actually need. But I do have a plan for uh, all the different colors. So uh, we will get to that in future episodes. Uh, unfortunately, though, that is all we have time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If so, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it and you're excited to see even more content from the Mooncraft server, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we put out episodes every single week. That's right. Uh, so look forward to that next week and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. So I will catch you in the next one. That is it for me today. Bye.